of mink Even in the summertime Everybody knows I'm a coy little wink The girl's got a lot on her mind She's got big dreams and a big promise to dance Oh, I think this girl, she really wants Is to be in love with a man She wants to meet a man Hello, darlings. I'm Kurnia Bulalane, and we are here at the 37th International Emmy Awards. And in just a moment, I will be interviewing the celebrities right here at the Hilton Hotel. So keep watching, darlings. More celebrities, more red carpet coming up at the 37th International Emmy Awards. Pink champagne kisses. Hello, darlings. Welcome back to Cognac's Corner. I am here at the 37th International Emmy Awards. And I am here with Ms. Lady Susan Thompson from the T Susan Thompson Show, right? Yes, ma'am. I am Lady Susan Thompson. Lady Susan Thompson. Now, tell my audience how you became a lady. I am actually with the Royal House of Georgia and the Royal House of Tana. And I became a lady first, then I was knighted with a king. And I am an official. <laughs> You are official. Now, tell me, darling, how many years have you been doing this, the uh, International Emmy Awards? I think it's about over three years now we've been here together, haven't we? Yes, three years. Well, I've been doing it a long time. Do you think that, uh, Dr. Kissinger, do you think I had an opportunity to interview me him? Me too, darling. <laughs> I want to get that interview with him as well. And I'm hoping that Ms. Barbara Walters, who is going to be presenting the Founders Award to Sir David, David Frost. Frost. I hope that uh, she will be also walking on the red carpet. And of course, you know, Sir David Frost has, has had so many of accomplishments in television shows all over the world, the United him. States and England. Yes. And he's very handsome. Yes, so we're looking yes. forward to seeing him as well. Yes, darling. And especially when he's come all the way from the UK. That's yeah. very special. All these individuals they come in from that all come over in. the world to celebrate here. But international celebrities, I mean, it's amazing to see them all come together. But isn't those are fabulous, exciting. isn't it? Fabulous that we are going to get to see all these wonderful stars from all over the world receiving awards and presenting awards tonight here at the International Emmy Awards right outside of the Hilton Hotel. It's an amazing night. And I want to thank you, Susan, for talking to me here, right here on the red carpet. Tell my audience the website for them to go to to find out more information about what you do. Go to the SusanThompsonShow.com, and we'll see you soon. Give me a kiss, darling. Mwah, mwah. We'll be back in a moment, darlings, with more celebrity interviews. What does it feel like to receive this award, the I'm, director I'm award? I'm so proud for me and my company to be here and to get to be honored by this very, very I famous Kissinger Emmy Award. is going to be presenting this yeah, award to yeah. you. It's, Have a good, you it's a good friend of mine. And is he a good and friend? And a good friend of Germany and uh, for our 60 years of being. Introduce so yourself. Gary, that Gary okay. Hatch, or in Latin America known as Gerardo Sevilla Hatch. You look like a rock star. Well, yeah, you never you were, know. You were like a rock star. Oh, did you? Is that warming you up? up? I mean, I'm getting kind of heated up, you know. So what do you think of the what do you think of the 37th International Emmy Award? You know, I'll tell you, there's so many great people in television. It's been a pleasure for me to work in this industry, and mainly, mainly it's the people, you know. People are hard workers. They try to be the best they can be. Mm -hmm. And um, our show. Well, I think for your shows. Yeah, Doesn't absolutely. he have gorgeous eyes? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I like those. I like I'm yours. Very happy. I'm watching <laughs> Kanye's Corner <laughs> TV, and I'm enjoying every minute of it. And don't miss it at, at any time. Fabulous. We'll be back in a moment, darling. This is Kay Tyson Perez, and you're watching Cognac Love Corner. Your glasses, by, by the way. You guys look terrific. <laughs> so tell my audience about the 37th International Emmy Awards and why you are both here tonight. I'm actually here because I am a fashion designer and creative activist, and I work very closely with the senior VP of the International Emmy Awards. You look terrific. Introduce yourself to the camera, Malcolm don't you? Harris. And I'm a fashion designer and creative activist. 
And you, darling, you look spectacular. Thank you so much. My name is Kay Tyson Perez, and I'm the editor-in-chief of Unvogue Magazine. Unvogue Magazine. Unvogue, yeah. Now, let me ask you guys, is this your first time here at the 37th International Emmy Awards? Yes, it is. Well, first time. Isn't it fabulous? Oh, I cannot wait to get inside. I cannot wait. <laughs> Tell my audience, what are you wearing? You look spectacular. Tonight I was actually dressed by um, Polo Ralph Lauren. And then I added this special little touch that I created for myself. And you look terrific. Thank you. I'm in full G-Star with Victor and Rolf shoes. You guys are the handsomest men on the red carpet. Uh, thank you so much. Tell my audience if they want to find out more information where they can go on the internet about Envo. Uh, and Envo. Perfect. For Mal Sarah, you can go to www.malsarah.com. That's M-A-L. S I R R A H dot com. And your website is Mouserai dot com. And you don't. And I'm at Unvogue dot com. www.unvogue dot com. Spectacular. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we'll be back in a moment, darling, for more celebrity interviews. Keep watching. Introduce yourself to the camera, darling. We all know who you are. But could you introduce yourself? Rachel Roy. Rachel, we I interviewed you maybe about a year ago in the Hamptons at Russell Simmons' home, uh, the Art for Life event. I don't know if you remember me or not, but I did interview at, you at that event, and now we are here at the International Emmy Awards. Now, you are presenting. Can you tell my audience the category that you're presenting for? The best reality. The best reality TV show. Fabulous. Tell my audience what... This gorgeous. Is this your creation that you're wearing? Mm -hmm. I love your necklace. Your necklace too? My necklace is by Araj. And if they, my audience wants to find out more information as to about you as a, uh, an American designer, where can they go on the internet? Um, they can go on my website. RachelRoy.com? Mm -hmm. You look terrific, darling. Have fun tonight. We'll be back in a moment, darling. There's more celebrity interviews. <laughs> Very, uh, you look very nice. Yes. <laughs> Introduce yourself to the camera, doll. Okay, I'm Hamara Smithman. I'm the director of Skin, and my actor, Robert the Hoax, nominated for Emmy. Tell me a bit about Emmy. the synopsis of the film. It's based on a true story, actually. It's based on a half-Jewish guy who murdered somebody when he was 16, and he became the symbol of fascism, but they forgot about the, uh, his past, as his father being half-Jewish, and who lost half his family in Auschwitz. How so the symbol, uh, the small boy who was confused because of the pain of his father, uh, actually became a symbol of uh, of, uh, of hatred. So it's all it's a, it's a film about um, uh, a guy, uh, a father who was once a victim, and he becomes the aggressor. Sounds very intense. Yes, it was. If my audience wants to find out more about this incredible film, where can they go on the internet? Is there a website? There is a website. It's on www.ijswater.nl. Spell it, spell it. Ijswater, it's uh, I G W, uh, sorry, I G S uh, W A T E R uh, dot uh, N L. Fabulous. I hope you win, darling. Congratulations on being nominated for this film for well, Best it's Actor. It's great to be the here. producer and the editor of this fabulous film. Introduce yourself to the camera, doll. I'm Mark Bechtels. I'm the editor of the film. Mark Berry, producer of Skin. Now, what made you undertake this film? It was uh, his idea of Han Rao. It was based on a true story, actually, in the Netherlands. It was a very gripping story, I yes, think. He was telling you. Yes. So uh, we think it was a beautiful story, and it has to be made. Now, I understand that you are the guy that is re may be receiving the award for Best Actor for the film Skin. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, these guys put you under their production. Yeah. Tell my audience, how uh, did you go to many auditions, or did you just get the, the gig no. after one audition? How did no. it all work? I had to do some auditions. I had to do two auditions. Two, two. Just two? Yeah, just two. Yeah, that was amazing. That was amazing. Just two, yeah. My audience about your character. My character. He's a troubled teenager who has a Jewish father. He's Jewish himself. His father survived Auschwitz in the Second World War, and he 
he's really trying to connect with his father. He's really trying to say, Dad, talk to me about your feelings, what happened there. And uh, his father won't talk to him, so he says, well, if you don't want to talk with me, I will let you feel. I will let you feel the pain that I'm feeling. So it's a really tough, tough, tough character to play, but really interesting, really beautiful. I can't wait to see this film. Tell my audience, is there a website that they can go to about, as you as an actor, do you have your own website? Yeah, I have an IMDb uh, page. So you, Tell my audience. You should just go to imdb.com and search for Robert DeHo. It's H-O-O-G. Fabulous. Give me a kiss, doll. Well, we'll be back in a moment with more celebrity interviews. Ooh, I'm a fancy blonde, fallacy dressed to impress. One of a kind girl. This has been a Cry Baby Productions, darlings.